So now it's time to end our module one. We're going to end module one with a summative project called Dance Dance Nation. In this project, you're going to create a dance party. Feel free to start with your music video. You have to have at least one sprite and it must have multiple costumes and perform dance moves. That means when you press a key, the character needs to do some type of dance move on that key press. Uh, in addition, uh, there should be multiple dance moves, not just one dance move. The dance moves can be a combination of costume changes and movements. It should not just be the character sliding across the screen, and it should not just be a single costume change. There must be at least five dance moves for this sprite. The backdrop should also be appropriate to the dance party and should have some type of animation to it. This could be blinking lights, this could be something moving in the background, this could be other characters that are moving in the background that are dancing to the music. You should allow all of these things to occur at the same time while the music is playing and your character is able to dance while you're pressing different keys. So it should be an interactive assignment, not just a flat movie. There should be music in the background to dance to. It would not be a party without it. There should be directions to improve the user experience, uh, which is also called the UX flow. Uh, why do we use UX? I don't know. It just kind of sounded cool when people first started talking about user experience, so they abbreviated to UX. You were to type in the link to the box uh, in the submission box. If you click on the project, you can see that is listed here. Ignore that date for right now. So you just paste the link in the written submission box and you can see it also includes a further description of what the assignment is. There's also a rubric. So if you click on the rubric, you can get an idea of what I'm going to be using to grade your project. So the first thing I'm going to look at is formatting. Uh, novice, you only get 16.5 points. You have one sprite with a dance move that starts with some type of event. Competent, one sprite has more than one dance move. Different moves occur when a key is pressed. Uh, proficient, that's what I'm looking for. It has one sprite with more than five dance moves and costume changes. Different moves occur when a key is pressed. So you press the letter A, one dance move occurs. Press the letter B, a different dance move occurs making sure the keys are easy to press for the user. The design, again, we have different levels. We talk about the backdrop, we talk about uh, making sure it's appropriate to the dance party, making sure uh, there is dance music in the background and is music for people to dance to. Finally, UX flow. There needs to be some type of directions for the user. And the directions are there to improve the user experience. The directions are clear and easy to understand. And finally, the choice of keys makes sense. You know, don't choose keys that are all over the keyboard. Make sure you choose keys that make sense to the user. So you're going to follow this rubric in order to help you get a good score on this assignment. Once you have submitted the assignment, we're going to use the critique form and everyone's going to get a chance to critique somebody else's work. And in fact, we're going to get three people to critique each person's work. So everyone's going to be critiquing multiple projects. When we're all done using the critique form, which you can download from here, we're going to submit this into a project critique discussion board. Now it has to be open so that way everyone has access to that discussion board and I have to add a new one in there. So that way you can get feedback and you can decide whether or not to improve your project before I grade it. So you submit it you can get a chance to critique it and go through it and hey I might want to change a couple things based upon the critique that I was given it might be some thoughts that you might have so go ahead enjoy have fun with this project and I look forward to seeing your dance dance nation summative projects